Disney Channel movies that deserve the sequel. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Enchant Films. Number 7. Minuteman In 2008, Disney Channel answered the question of what would teenagers actually do with a time machine with Minuteman. This sees three high school friends decide to use it to go back in time and undo the humiliating mistakes of other teens. Disney Channel rarely veers into sci-fi, but Minuteman is proof that its attempts are golden. There are real stakes in the first film that despite the silliness, make viewers forget exactly what network they're watching it on. While their time machine may be long gone by the finale, Charlie, played by Luke Benward, has ideas for more inventions that promise equally rock as fun. Number 6. Lemonade Mouth Following its unprecedented success, Disney was inspired by High School Musical to produce multiple musicals in the same vein. Few went as hard as Lemonade Mouth. This teen musical drama tells the story of five high school students who decide to form a band after meeting in detention. It's nowhere near as cliché as it sounds. The acting talent is teller. The soundtrack features hit after hit. And, despite seeming like a combination of every Disney musical and The Breakfast Club, the movie feels honest, empowering, and slightly more mature than other films on Disney Channel. Who wouldn't want more? Number 5. Wendy Wu – Homecoming Warrior Frustratingly, a sequel was originally planned but cancelled for Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior. According to MovieWeb, it would have been a follow-up on one of the most exciting concepts for a Disney Channel movie. In it, teenager Wendy Wu, played by Brenda Song, discovers she's the reincarnation of a legendary female warrior destined to protect the world. While the plot is wrapped up neatly by the movie's end, viewers are still left wanting more. The action scenes are fresh, fun, and more dynamic than other Disney Channel productions, and song is endlessly watchable. Really, audiences just deserve to see Wendy put her now-completed martial arts to use beyond just fighting Yanlo, played by Hallie Hudson. Number 4. Pixel Perfect Pixel Perfect has one of Disney Channel's most unusual complex plots, so it's a surprise the company didn't stretch it across more than one movie. When Roscoe, played by Raviv Ullman, uses his father's technology to create the perfect lead singer for his friend's band, the result is Loretta, played by Spencer Redford, a hologram who becomes more popular than the actual humans in the group. Its premise is admittedly ridiculous, but the movie is unique and has genuinely touching moments such as the first and last time Loretta gets to feel rain. Even though she's gone by the end, the beauty of technology is that her return would have been easy to manufacture. Number 3. Starstruck the highlight of Starstruck is its addictive soundtrack, but the plot is also pretty good too. On a family trip to Hollywood, Jessica Olsen, played by Daniel Campbell, is dragged to a Christopher Wilde, played by Sterling Knight concert by her obsessed sister, only to bump into the man himself and spend a day fleeing the paparazzi together. It's the ultimate sweet teenage romance with Campbell and Knight's chemistry, carrying what would otherwise be a pretty standard series of events for a DCOM. Beyond the film's closing prom scene, the pair would surely have faced other challenges of a high-profile relationship beyond just 24 hours of press. Number 2. Cadet Kelly Other than playing the titular character in Lizzie McGuire, Davinative 2000's tween queen Hilary Duff had another staring moment on Disney Channel, Cadet Kelly. When her mother marries the commandant of a military school, teenager Kelly Collins is forced to join the school herself, where she finds herself its clumsiest, most unorthodox student. Being Disney, there is only one way this can end, with Kelly defeating the odds to thrive on the drill team. Although there is the obligatory love interest in Cadet Major Brad Rigby, played by Sean Ashmer, the real chemistry is between Kelly and Cadet Captain Jennifer Stone, played by Christy Carlson Romano. While this is never developed on screen, Romano herself told in style that she believes there's more there. But without a sequel, fans never got to find out what. Number 1. Upside Down Magic Upside Down Magic is one of Disney Channel's latest original movies, so the absence of a sequel is somewhat understandable. However, the plot easily lends itself to a follow-up. Based on the book series of the same time, it follows Nuri, played by Isabella Rose, and her best friend Reina, played by Sienna Agudong, as they enroll at Sage Academy and try to defeat Shadow Magic. 
Admittedly, it isn't the most unique fantasy plot in the world. However, the world building is strong and immersive, and it's always nice to see a female friendship like Nori and Reina's take center stage. It'll be interesting to see where their paths lead as they grow older and more magically powerful. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.